Hey, what's up, peeps? This is uh, George T with Teague's Take. Me and JT are here with you once again for a quick take. And we need to talk to you about a little defensive back coverage. Don't forget, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Give us some likes to these if you already subscribed. Tell people about the page uh, because we try to give you as much education as we can about this. And there's a lot of talk about Kool-Aid McKinstry. Is he the best defensive back um, on the Alabama team? Uh, what kind of technique does he use? And, you know, I'll have to admit, JT and I have been very critical about him uh, and sometimes about how he played man-to-man. -man. Would he could have done better? But I wanted to show you this clip um, and have JT and I talk about this because I think he does a fabulous job. So uh, the first thing we need to talk about is what happened. You, you know, you line up your inside technique. Typically, your outside foot is splitting his inside foot if you're trying to take away the inside piece. As a defensive back, you are always trying to keep your shoulders square as long as possible, right? That's the first thing. When you decide to open or when you commit to opening, you don't want to open all the way up. That's when they say open the gate. You want to try to open at 45 degrees, and then you want to try to jam with the offhand. The offhand means if you drop your right foot, you want to stick with your left hand. If you drop your left foot, you want to jam with your right hand. So let's look at all of this. And I need you to look at what the wide receiver does because now they walk off really slow. They do these one, two, three kind of things. You see, you know, and so defensive backs have to be really, really patient um, about it. So what a defensive back does with his eyes and his hands and his feet are super important. So we're going to let go first and then we'll let um jt chime in on this a little bit as well all right there's the woo -wee. okay so run it back just a tad bit uh again jt then you can kind of tell us what do you think about his footwork his patience and not turning too fast first let's start with that part yeah well i thought that uh Man, this is this is one of the hardest things to do, right? Because um, you, you got you got two different techniques. You can you can try to jam right away to disrupt this, but the, this this patience right here is incredible. This is I'm I'm not sure if you can truly teach this or if this is an, an innate ability. You know, I, I've what I've learned. Um, being a defensive coordinator and a defensive backs coach for however long it's been now is, hey man, some people just can't backpedal. Like you can't teach everybody to backpedal. You, mm -hmm. I've kind of gotten to the point where it's like you either can or you can't. So some people just have to have to bail and shuffle. Some people can backpedal. Some people can't. Um, and I would say there's a lot of people that play defensive back that do not have this kind of patience to be able to shuffle. And the eye discipline. This is the hardest. I think that's the hardest thing to to break somebody's habit is, you know, you can you can't tell exactly where his eyes are, but you can look at the stripe at the back of his helmet and you can see that it, it is not going side to side. It stays in the same spot. Until. Until the receiver commits and being so able to right hmm? leave it right there okay. and JT bring up some good good points right and i appreciate that because that is super hard to do he didn't look back at the quarterback and all this now go just a tad bit farther um because this is kind of the people we're talking with langham a little bit i want to do so they're offhand jam right so he's kind of turning to 45 he gets the left hand on him most people some guys don't even get the, get the hand on him so they did get the hand on him super important right and then as it a little bit further so we got to remember we're down in the red zone so we need to talk about that first right so that's the goal line right mm -hmm. he's anticipating the fade stop we talked him last week i can't remember which day we but you probably want to go back and listen to what he was talking about how it teaches this technique and what he's trying to get his defensive backs to do with their right hand in this situation or the receiver's left shoulder. So if you watch Kool-Aid, he actually uses Langham's technique, JT, right? He shields that as left shoulder so that he can't even 
turn right. back to get the ball. Um, so um, I think that, that that's that's like I don't know if it gets any better from down here in this spot. He's actually looking for the ball already. He's committed outside. Uh, gets this, into this is this is so good because you know, like you're saying, you're, at this point right now, the reason that he has both hands on him is. Like you said, it he's looking for the back shoulder fade or uh, what we would call the fade special where this ball is going to be thrown to the pylon, right? Um, and 84 would actually turn around to catch it. And right now, Kool-Aid is in a position to where if it is back shoulder fade, he's all over it. I mean, that back shoulder fade right now might actually be an interception, um, which is already hard to, do, hard to be in position to, to do that in the first place. But then, look at him. He recognizes, as soon as he recognizes, and look how fast he turns his head. As soon as he recognizes that I'm not getting, I'm not getting a fade stop here. Like, this ball is actually just, is just a straight up fade. You know, look how fast he turns to get, to get back into position. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's amazing. And I love this. And I, I, I kidded about this when I pulled that. And uh, Panama City, the Red Elephant Club, was like when you talk about getting excited and, and salivating and getting all wet or whatever. I say, man, I was watching this. I was like, oh my gosh, I rewind this a bunch of times. I said, like, man, I gotta record this and I gotta send this over to JT because this is amazing. So this is this is not DB one on one because he's this. This is like the five hundred one edition. Yeah, no, this <laughs> this gets you paid right here. <laughs> yes, this is how you get drafted because this is what guys are looking at. They're saying, man, can he do it? Um, and this is exactly the best. So um, if you want to know how to play defensive back and you want to play press and do this all the time, you can make it to the University of Alabama and you probably can make it to the pros. So that's going to be our episode this time of a quick take talking about uh, DB technique, press technique, man to man on the island. How are you are you gonna be the number one guy? Kool Aid's Kool Aid's wearing that number one, and he sure exactly why. We'll see you guys. Make sure you guys tune in to our podcast on Wednesday night for the live shows at eight fifteen p.m. Central Time. Peace.